This is what my storage area looks like now. I am still working on it to try to make it not so disgusting looking. I'm gonna work on going through this. This is a lot of stuff that's, I guess, kind of my, my death pile. A lot of these totes are death pile stuff or some of them actually are inventory. I got them really mixed up right now. This is all listed, but I need to file it away in my inventory system. This is my inventory system. This is, this stuff needs to be listed. These are mini, what are they? Oh, mega blocks. I think I'm gonna list those on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, look at, let's see those. Oh, this is all listed inventory. I got them mixed up because I was working. I only spent like a half hour out here right now. These are all extra bins, because I don't have, I switched to these clear bins, but they ran out of clear bins. I've been, I've been trying to do more listing than actually working out here though, to be honest. I've worked a few times, but uh, I've just been focusing more on listing. I wanted to show you that stuff and then I'm going to open up this box that I got from another reseller. I want a, I want a competition. Is it a competition? I want a drawing, not competition. I'll open that up and then I'm going to show you the stuff I sold this weekend. So stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Dan, also known as Art Vandalay. It's your first time visiting my channel. I'm a newly full-time reseller in Indiana, and one of the things I've been working on as a, as a full-time reseller is opening up my platforms I'm selling on. I mainly sell on eBay, and I've done a little bit of Macari. Lately, I've been trying to cross-post more. I've been cross-posting on Bonanza, Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and then uh, last week I started doing Facebook Marketplace. I just wanna show you a few of the items I sold over the past week. Part of the thing is is uh, selling is just to get more eyes on my items. And if I had just focused on eBay, it wasn't like a great weekend or anything, but if I had just focused on eBay, I would have had a really bad weekend. So I'm just gonna show you some of the items that I've sold on these platforms and then uh, no, maybe you wanna sell on one of those platforms. All right, so on Poshmark this weekend, I sold this Kooji, 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 Kooji puffer vest. Um, Kooji is known for their colorful, loud weird looking sweaters uh kind of like what bill cosby used to wear i found this puffer vest i found it it's been in my store a long time close to a year and i don't remember what i paid for it i think i paid up for it that day i think i paid nine dollars for it but i wouldn't have paid more than nine dollars for it and it sold on poshmark i sold it for forty dollars and on poshmark if you don't sell on poshmark it's a 20 percent flat fee right I, I don't know if you sell something super cheap it's 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 like two dollars or something i don't know well this had a 20 20 percent fee so after fees i was i received 32 dollars on poshmark i've been focusing on jeans and shoes i guess it could change but at the, at the moment i want to keep my store kind of small uh enough to be able to share t at least twice a day i usually share in the morning and i share at night sometimes i'll share in the middle of the day if i ha if i have time uh and i want to keep my listings uh, probably under 100 eventually stuff that's gonna cost more to ship than seven dollars any other place it might be might have some interest but i just want to see how it's gonna go i sold this lot of diehard dvds on bonanza if you don't know what bonanza is uh i will try to explain it the best i can because i don't really understand what bonanza is bonanza is a platform that um you can buy things and all you have to do is sign up through them and they literally pull all your listings from ebay and they put them on Bonanza. You don't do any extra work. It takes, it took maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to sign up. I usually just check it once a day to see if I sold anything. Uh, I checked it the other day and I sold this Die Hard thing. I sold it for these Die Hard DVDs. I sold them for $8.09. They're part of that box of DVDs I bought. I have 27 cents a piece into each of them. I've been on Bonanza for three weeks, I believe, and I've sold one item a week. So it's not gonna be, I don't think it's not gonna be some crazy amount of, of stuff selling, but uh, you know, I'm happy to have at least one extra sale that I don't know how long they would have been on eBay. So once they sell off of Bonanza, they actually pull it off of eBay too. So you do, literally all you have to do is check it. All right, so this sale is from Macari. I sold this Simpsons Game of Life. I bought this at Goodwill. I paid $1.49 for it and it sold for $26 plus $11 buyer paying shipping. It sounded like I'm beating a broker record, but I like sell board games. I usually have low buy-in costs and uh, this is a good game. All right, on eBay, I sold these th this lot of three dream tents um it's a tent that goes over your twin size bed it's something that i've hated hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a bad buy but <sighs> then i didn't think it was that bad and probably sit on for a while and make a few dollars so uh, i'm okay with it 
$4.88 a piece into each of them. This lot sold for $21.57, so uh, I don't know, whatever, making maybe $3 or something. Not, not enough for my time. All right, next up on eBay, I sold this WWF fi figure of Slick. Purchased this on Craigslist. I paid $12 for it, and it sold for $37.25 with an offer to a watcher. All right, when I first started reselling, this was one of the very first games I bought. It's this Last Call board game. Um, I paid $1.49 for it, and it took, I think, a year to sell, and I sold it for $22.49, and uh, yeah, it was one of the first board games I saw. At the time, it was selling for about $25. I've had zero interest in it over the last year, and then thankfully, someone bought it. It was kind of an odd shape, so it took up a lot of space in one of my totes, so happy to have it go. I don't really have anything else to say about it. All right, and I sold this PS4 Guitar Hero Live. I sold this on Macari. I sold it for $155 shipped. It was $22.17 to ship it. After fees and shipping, um, I profited about $110. And this is from that recent buy I did uh, for the PS4. I paid $325 for PS5, 23 games, three controllers, this bundle set, and external hard drive. All right, and I sold this PS4 controller. I sold this on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it sold for $30 with free shipping. The great thing about Facebook Marketplace right now is if you're, if you're selling on Marketplace with delivery, uh, you get zero fees until the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, it's going to be $5. That's one reason I started cross-posting on this, this last week. And I've sold a number of games this week on there with uh, zero zero percent fees, and they've all been games well, I think and yeah, most of them have been games from that, that PS4 buy I did. Now having to pay fees on that really helped me start re uh, recoup some of my money that I that I spent on this lot. With the games plus the Guitar Hero, I, sp I spent $325 and I've, I've recouped $206 after fees, $206 of my initial investment. And I still have the external hard drive that sells for between $60 and $80 and the PS4 that should sell around 300, maybe 325, depending, maybe 350, depending on when I list it. I haven't listed, I've been playing it. And uh, probably, hopefully, maybe I'll list it today. I, I really, uh, I, I really need to list it, but I'm having fun playing it right now. So um, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna need two hands for this one. Uh, I won a contest from Cat the Nurse Flipper, and she sent me this. If you don't follow Cat's channel, you don't know what I, wa what I won, but if you do, you know what I won. So I'm just going to open this up. Cat has a really good channel. She sells the crap out of stuff. And she sells all kinds of stuff. And uh, gives me a lot of good ideas. We just hit 3,000 subscribers. And she had a drawing. And I won. Excited. I thought I was going to... I had a feeling I was going to win. I think these are stickers. So I got some Nurse Flipper stickers. A business card. Well, that's a cool card, Cat. Thanks. If you ever see this, thank you. I got this Titleist hat. It's not just any Titleist hat. It is... It's signed by Cat, and it's signed by Cat and Matt for both hitting 3,000 subscribers. Cat uh, bought it for a giveaway, Matt signed it. Matt is part-time pickers, or great, another great channel. So uh, she signed it for 3,000. So when I hit 3,000 subscribers, I will sign this. If and when I ever hit 3,000. Maybe I should sign it out, do I have a pen? No, that's probably the way I look. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if and when I ever hit 3,000 subscribers, but I'll sign it and I'll give it away when I hit 3,000. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It even has the Goodwill sticker on it still. So that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. What are they, oh, it doesn't say. It's new with tags, but it's got a Goodwill tag. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.